2005 after school at 4, 15 in the afternoon. Um, so since the beginning of SBU, whether you were around when we were located at the Kingsbridge High Neighborhood Improvement Association on Kingsbridge and University, or whether when we were located on the infamous location on top of the liquor store on Kingsbridge Road, Woo! or where we are currently at the main office on 186, at some point in time, we've had to walk by the armory. This huge, massive castle um, in the Bronx. A huge, empty castle in the Bronx. Um, so SBU, we've always organized and fought for improvements. Um, and like John said, whether it had been for escalators or street lights, um, housing work, um, the list goes on. We never realized that those things, we never realized that while those things are important and crucial to the community, what we really need, what really needs to be done is development. Um, we can fix all we want, but in a broken system, things that tend not to stay fixed for long. Um, so SBU and Office Bronx decided to do just that in the armory. We've had a bunch of meetings and came up with designs and ideas of what we wanted to see inside of it. We fought, um, we fought Related, which was a developer who wanted to come into the community and create a big box supermarket um, retail store. Um, so this time around, when the request for proposals came for, um, for the armory, developers knew that they had to meet with the North First Bronx and SBU. Um, so we met and we talked and we planned and we fought and we made sure no matter what went into the armory, it was going to benefit the organization and it was going to benefit the whole Bronx. So let's, let me catch you up to speed. Right now we are in talks of a community benefits agreement. Any day now it can and hopefully will be signed. Um, and these are some of the things that we have been negotiating for. Um, we are negotiating for 100% um, living wage jobs and a majority of those, we want them to be full-time. We are fighting for 75% 70 of the jobs to be going directly to only Bronx residents. Um, we're fighting for community space, so we want 50,000 square feet of community space, with the developer financially paying for the build-out of that. Um, we, want, um, we want the Army to be a, a LEED certified gold, which is the standard of green, so not only do we want you to build, if you're gonna build, it has to be um, healthy building. Um, we don't want any big box retail. We want the, um, we want a small business incubator to develop small, small local businesses and more of them in our community. And we want priority access to whatever thing, whatever's gonna be put into um, the armory. And we also are negotiating for the demapping of a 180, of 185th Street for a future new high school. Um, so this is an amazing accomplishment. This could be and will be an amazing accomplishment. Not only will it set us, will it, will it set the organization on the map, but it will set the whole Bronx on the map. So that when developers want to come into our community, they have to speak to us. Um, we and with this project, we are not only we are creating jobs, growth, economy, accountability, and a clean and green environment for the Bronx. But the armory is not the only thing that the Northwest Bronx is developing either. We also have a garden. Our story of the garden begins after a Northwest Bronx member named um, Joseph Ferdinand saw a fish farm in urban Buffalo and dreamed of, uh, dreamed of building one in the Bronx. He approached his city council member to find a garden in the Bronx and convinced the Northwest Bronx and SBU that we can, that it could benefit the community and hopefully create youth jobs in the future. Um, we also wanted it to be built so that it was a fully fixed, uh, so it could also be included as a fully functional fish farm. So in March 2012, the New York City Department of Green Thumbs granted us a stewardship for the garden located on 176 and Walton Avenue. Um, Concrete Green, which is a, a worker-owned cooperative that actually came out of the Northwest Bronx and SBU, um, organized consultations um, with community members to see um, to talk um, to talk about what they wanted to see in the garden, and have planned not only a fish farm, but as well as a greenhouse, a rainwater capture system, edible walls, and solar panels. Um, so we envisioned a learning. Like we envision a learning center where people from all over the Bronx can come and truly learn the meaning of urban green infrastructure. And that's not only with the armory, um, but it's also with the green garden and it also could be many things more to come. Okay.